Well, I was a swimmer for a long time, and it was just time for me to move on to something different, and I knew I was coming here to UT. So I kind of had heard of the rowing team before, but I didn't really know what it was about. It's like, okay, this sounds like an awesome sport. I'll try this. All these girls seem great. My favorite thing about rowing is how much of a team sport it is. I really don't know if there's any other sport that you have that same level of connection. You're matching the, girl, the seven other girls in the boat perfectly. You have to be completely in sync with them. How to respond to what everybody else is doing in the boat. Sometimes it, it's kind of hard to explain, but sometimes it feels like there's a like an aura around the boat that you just kind of like tap into this energy that's everybody's energy put together. And I love that. If you win, it's a combination of everybody in that boat, all nine girls, eight rowers and a coxswain. It's not, we don't have any you know, specific stars. One person can't move the boat. It has to be everybody working together. And I love that part. Go pausing every other stroke at three quarter pressure, body over. I've, was a competitive swimmer for a long time. Pretty much starting in middle school, I was very competitive on a club team, and then I joined my high school team also. And swimming, just like rowing, is a very uh, repetitive endur endurance kind of sport. She rows extremely well, and she learned how to row here. And she just kept moving up and up and up, and, and uh, in terms of making boats move, in terms of making them go fast. She's, she's a really good rower. And then you look at all the variables, then you realize she was the constant, and you go, oh, ho, oh, we found one. Long, lean, limber, levered stroke. You want to feel that you're not throwing your body weight into the stern, that your pivot, your hands away, shoulders over, body weight, makes that transition before, before you start up the slide. That's absolutely critical. Well, it's honestly, it's been such a treat to work with her, like you said, I was a walk-on. I never would have dreamed I would have had an Olympian for a coach, like especially in rowing. I never would have dreamed that. Um, and she's she's a great role model. I mean, looking up to someone who really helped pave the way for women in this sport, um, I think that's a great influence. And without her and her team, you know, maybe we wouldn't be rowing right now. Stay down. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a way to work it. She really cares about us to help each one of us individually with technique, with you know motivation, whatever it is. Um, she's been there. She's experienced it either herself or as a coach, um, and it's really great to have someone like that. Like I said, what I really love about rowing is how connected you are. You really are <laughs> um, rowing for that other girl in front of you and behind you, um, and I just love that aspect of it. They're a, a big family and I think that's one of the best parts about rowing and I like to see with these young people. They're people from Canada and New Zealand and England and all over the world who are here with young women who grew up in Texas, came here, started to row and now they're all in the same cohesive team in some of the same boats. And I think that's wonderful. It's a great melting pot here at the University of Texas, internationally and with Texas kids. When I get tired, I just think about everybody else who's in that boat. And that gives me so much more motivation to work, to push past my best. Like maybe if I was only rowing for myself, it's okay, 100% there I am. But this, having all the other girls, you know, I know relying on me and working their best, it makes me push past that 100% and keep getting better every day.